Welcome to the new part of Melanie by Nina with Cooking with Me by Nina and Kun Plylada. สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะ First time here. Welcome to Melanie by Nina. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, sure. So uh, some of you might already know me from the cooking school. We have a cooking school called Cooking Monster, and I am also a senior editor for a restaurant review website from ToSafe.com. Right. So if you Wanna hang out or wanna find? If you wanna hang out, find a restaurant. That's right. We have it for you. Tuesday.com have it for you as well. Okay, but today Kun Ploy Lada will not um, give us an advice of where to go, but today she will show us or demonstrate us on how to make an easy, right, easy dessert yes. without oven, without baking, without baking. So our goal for Cooking Monster School, we know that. Most of Bangkokians doesn't yeah. have oven at home. Mm-hmm. Doesn't have a large kitchen, right. or some people doesn't even have a time. kitchen aid and time. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So we have this school to help all of those people to cooking without mm-hmm. oven, without and for those too much time. who are interested to learn to make um, Western. Dessert. Western dessert. Mm-hmm. So it's not hard as you think for today. What are we going to do? Strawberry panna cotta. Strawberry panna cotta. Thai loves panna cotta. Thai people love panna cotta. So let's start with. We have milk. We have milk. We have yeah. whipped cream. Whipped cream. We have frozen strawberries. Mm-hmm. I love to use frozen strawberries sometimes. It gives A bit different texture from the fresh one, mm-hmm. and we have sugar and gelatin powder. Gelatin powder, this one, right? Yes. But if you don't have strawberry, you can use any kind of fruits. Any kind of fruits, like passion fruit, mm-hmm. if you love sour, orange. Maybe you can use honey. Instead. Or just be adventurous if you have durian in your backyard. <laughs> I don't know. It's gonna be smell all over the place. Okay, so let's start. Right. Okay. Saucer. We're gonna start with milk. Just use the fresh milk. Don't use non-fat one. This is one of the rules for my school. If you're in my school, never ever say fat. And don't use skim milk. Never use skim milk. The full flat, full fat one would give such a nice flavor, texture, texture too. and flavor as well. I put on some gelatin powder mm-hmm. in the milk first, and I set it for like few seconds just right. to make sure that gelatin absorb the milk mm-hmm. well. How many gram of gelatin you put in there? Uh, well, this is the trick. This is what my student love the most. If you want to serve it in French way, just put it only one teaspoon. Mm. It's gonna be a very very creamy panna cotta. But if you want to be a little bit jelly hardened, like harding, if it really really hard, put it three spoons. Like a pudding, three like spoons. That is the American way to serve a panna cotta. But if it a bit creamy but also a bit jelly way, that's Italian way. So. The reason my student love it is because they said that if someday I make a mistake and it's too hard, and I can say I, I serve it in American way. Okay, so sugar, sugar. Right. After that, we add some sugar on it. Mm-hmm. If you like sweet, add it more. Add it more. All right, and now we're going to mix. Let me help you. Okay, just stir it well. Mm-hmm. And the trick for this is just make sure you don't leave the gelatin too long. Otherwise, it's gonna be a very, very hardened panna cotta. You don't want that. Mmm. Okay. And now the whipped cream. Like I said, never use half cream. <laughs> it's always happened. Full fat always tastes delicious. I'm one of them actually that I don't really, you know, when I make something, I don't really reduce the ingredients. Tastes nice. I know. The fatter, the more delicious. <laughs> okay. You only live once, right? If you're worried about your shape, then just go to um, go to the to gym or to something. The gym. I take hip hop class. It helps. I have to actually um, have to find time for that. <laughs> okay, so after okay, mixing after this, this, right? Yes. We... We're gonna take it to the stove. 
So we just want to warm it. You don't mm. want to boil it because otherwise all the whipped cream, all the fat from the whipped cream will coming out. Mm -hmm. It will break. It will break. So all you have to do is just heat it a bit mm -hmm. and make sure that... For how many minutes? In low heat? In medium? low heat, I would say only two or three minutes. Two or three minutes. Or until your sugar is all melt. Mm -hmm. That's all set. All right. And we're going to set it aside, I think. This all is right. Okay. It's okay. It takes just a little time, that's all. And then this will be in the fridge or? You just leave it here for a while. And uh -huh. we're gonna make the strawberry sauce. Yeah. If you don't have a strawberries, you can always use something else. Like passion fruit? Passion fruits. Blueberries. Mango. Mango. I would love mangoes. Um it's actually not not expensive. And it's very no. easy to find. That's oh, true. as I say, adventurous put the in. No. Adventurous, I know. <laughs> if you want to be adventurous, put the durian. Okay, so you just add some frozen strawberries mm -hmm. and some sugar on it. And we just fried it. Fried so it for a few minutes for the sugar to dissolve, right? Yes. So I think we got the sauce. Alright, so make sure when you... Um, put the strawberry with the sugar into this and then you have to mash the strawberry. Mash Let's, it a little. Yeah, mash it a little bit. So this is the panna cotta that we made earlier. Right. So you can put it in some cup. In this type of beautiful cup. Oh yes. Before you put it in, just don't forget your vanilla. Right. But make sure that your mixer is already cooled down. Mm -hmm. Don't put it in while it's hot because the vanilla essence always melts out. Right. So some people can make a layer. So you make this one layer, put it in the fridge for 10 minutes, right. and when it's a bit hardened, put the sauce in. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a but light. Because this needs to be chilled, so we have the ready-made and it's already chilled in this, so this is how it looked like. And this one, it's kind of like for, you know, cocktails. Yes, it's party, for cocktail parties. Parties. For girls. Alright, so that's the panna cotta that we have. Here you go. Okay. Mm. How was it? Oh my gosh. That's it, another one. <laughs> I don't know why, but I kind of know that this will happen. <laughs> okay, for those who would like to try, don't be afraid and just keep trying. If on the first time, it doesn't work. The second time, keep trying. But this recipe is quite easy. You don't need oven. Very, very easy. You just need, you know, a hot or just, you know, a stove. A hot gas. And, stove. and that's it. But we're running out of time for today. Um, oh, I'll see you next Monday. And see you all next Monday at 7.30 p.m. in Melanie by Nina. For now, have a great night. Sadiqa. Sadiqa.